with a pocket of heart If you listen close, you can hear him cry Oh Lord, heaven knows we belong way down below Hey, what's up guys? It's Ashley. So today's video is a back to school video. Yay! To get everyone else in the back to school spirit, I figured I'd start my back to school series. Um, I'm not really going to name it or anything, but I will be putting up quite a few back to school videos um, because I do personally like to do back to school videos. I think they're fun and um, they help me get more into the spirit of going back to school. Let me know if you're excited for more back to school videos. Like this video if you want to see more back to school videos and if you have any video requests like um, for back to school, then please leave them down below. I'd love to hear them. The makeup is super wearable for school and if it's not school appropriate for you, don't forget you can always change it yourself and um, do use more or less products, whatever you're comfortable with. But I've targeted this makeup look especially towards the beginners in makeup. If you're not very comfortable with makeup yet, then this is great for you because it's pretty foolproof, super easy, and for those of you that like your beauty sleep and like to sleep in, this is great because it's pretty fast. So if you're just going to sleep in, you can do this pretty quickly and head out the door. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'm going to quit rambling and go on into the video. Alright guys, so the first step is your moisturizer, and I'm using the Cetaphil one. I'm obsessed with this stuff. I use it all the time. Next step is to apply a face primer. This is optional. When you're first starting out with makeup, it may not be necessary. But if you want your makeup to last longer and go on smoother, I highly recommend this. This one is not from the drugstore, it's by Smashbox, but I do recommend investing in a high-end primer because I haven't found a primer from the drugstore yet that I like more than this. Foundation is a little too heavy for school in my opinion, but that's just my preference, so I like to use concealer, and it's much more lightweight and natural looking, so I'm just using this under my eyes and on blemishes, and you can tell the difference between the two eyes, which one has concealer and which one doesn't because one looks more awake than the other. So keep in mind that everyone's different so when you're first starting out with makeup you may not need a ton of concealer or a lot of these products so just keep that in mind. I'm also using some powder to set my makeup. This might sound a little weird but I'm actually using a tinted lip balm as my blush today and this is really easy because you just swipe it right on and then you blend it out with your fingers but make sure that you don't use too much. Less is more ladies! For the next step, I'm going to be using some clear brow gel to keep my brows in place, and this is optional, of course. So, personally, I don't always like to wear eyeshadow to school, but if you feel the need, then you should use an eyeshadow primer, and this is going to help to make sure that your eyeshadow lasts longer and makes the colors a bit more vibrant. So, again, if you're going to use eyeshadow, then you should probably stick to some natural neutral shades. I'm just using one color and it's super simple. I'm going to be using this shimmery white shade and applying it all over the lids and that's about it for the lids except if you want to, you can use a brown eyeshadow for eyeliner. It's much more forgiving than a liquid eyeliner and it looks way more natural and less harsh. Mascara is not only to volumize or lengthen your lashes, but it can really open up your eyes. So I'm just going to be using this one by Maybelline after I curl my lashes, and then you guys are done. Alright guys, so that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Let's go. If you gave me a chance, I would take it. It's a shot in the